Waiting for video games is hard at the best of times, but it's even worse when the game you're looking forward to is already out and being enjoyed on PC or another console. But good news everyone, the wait is almost over for these incoming Xbox games that are already out elsewhere. Consider these titles coming to Xbox One in 2016. Finally! <laughs> Rocket League is the correct answer to the question what would happen if you could play football with cars and is exactly as frantic and hilarious as that sounds. You pick a rocket-powered car and your aim is to get a massive oversized ball into a goal by any means necessary, using rockets to boost, flip and spin your car for maximum impact. These guys' insurance premiums must be through the roof. Already a smash hit on Steam and PS4, Rocket League is coming to Xbox One in February and will include special cars themed around the most appropriate Xbox exclusive series for a driving game. Forza. No, wait, Gears of War and Halo. Much better. Chances are you've heard of DayZ, but if you haven't, it's best described as an open-world survival game where the open world is full of zombies. It also goes a long way to proving that old saying about the greatest monster of all being man, because watch any DayZ YouTube video for more than about five minutes and you'll see people force-fed poisoned food at gunpoint, robbed, murdered and stripped naked, probably. Oh, hang on. Is that... Oh, it's a geyser. Oh, mate! No! 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 No, you... The game's been in alpha since 2013, but we're told that 2016 is when it will get its final release, which is also when we'll be seeing it on Xbox, first in game preview, then as a full game. Maybe on console, everyone will finally be nice to each other. <laughs> no, I couldn't even finish saying that sentence. Don't be worried, okay? We'll see each other again. Someday. Gone Home is a critically acclaimed first-person interactive story first released on PC back in 2013, in which you piece together a mystery by exploring a house in Portland, Oregon, examining objects, discovering messages, and forming your own conclusions about what happened to the people who lived there. Please, whatever you might find, don't tell Mom and Dad. I don't want them to know. If you're after something a bit slower paced with a story that gradually unfolds as you play, Gone Home is coming to Xbox One on the 12th of January. It's sort of like the opening of Bioshock Infinite, except you don't stab anyone in the face at the end of it. racing game that PC players have been going gaga over since it hit Steam Early Access a couple of years ago, Assetto Corsa punches well above its weight. For a start, it's stuffed full of Ferraris because Italian developer Kunos Simulazioni is matey with the home of the prancing horse. The other reason to get excited is that Kunos has been generous with the aftercare, releasing hefty DLC packages ever since the game released, including the fancy laser-scanned Nürburgring Nordschleifer that is so in fashion these days, and Britain's own Brands Hatch. And yet not one Vauxhall Corsa. Missed opportunity, that. Ark Survival Evolved is, as the title suggests, a survival game set in a mysterious, prehistoric-looking world dotted with sci-fi towers that's kind of like a much more violent Minecraft with dinosaurs. You'll need to make fire, build a shelter, and if you play like we do, punch a load of dinosaurs. Ah! maybe not the best survival tactic. You can also tame dinosaurs if you'd prefer, and the game world is populated with other players for you to help or to help you. Or, I mean, murder you, it's an online game. An unfinished version of Ark Survival Evolved is in the Xbox One game preview program right now if you're keen to try it, but it'll be getting a full release in June next year. Just as well as it's probably going to take me that long to actually build a shelter at the rate I keep dying. Why are we alive when even the gods are dead? The Banner Saga originally came out in early 2014, but will finally be arriving on Xbox One on January the 12th, the same day as Gone Home. It's a turn-based RPG about Vikings, so we're on board already, but it has a particular emphasis on your party as a whole and the decisions you'll have to make to keep them safe. Conversations have meaning and decisions have real weight to them, and the game encourages you to live with the consequences of your actions, kind of like a telltale adventure only with horned helmets and great swords. Trying hard just to make a 
Another PC racing sim that cut its teeth on Steam Early Access, Dirt Rally reboots the series and returns to its rallying roots after flirtations with Ken Block's Jim Carner videos and banger racing. The series' spiritual home has always been the middle of a Welsh forest in the pissing rain, and that's exactly what Dirt Rally delivers. If the loneliness of Stage Rally frightens you, there's also a World Rallycross component which puts you in the seat of a 600 horsepower hatchback and basically encourages you to scrub off your opponent's wing mirrors. We only really skimmed the rulebook. If we were to guess, we'd expect the console version, which is due in April, to arrive at the same time as a substantial piece of DLC for the PC version to bulk it up for the console masses. It may even end up rebranded as Dirt 4. Also, Mike is the best and definitely didn't write all of this for Andy to s Hang on a minute. Those were seven games that Xbox will finally be getting in 2016. Which games are you looking forward to the most? Let us know which long-awaited games you'd add to the list in the comments, and Happy New Year from Outside Xbox!